Hello, welcome back to our channel Ace Your Learning with Divya. Students, in our previous videos, we understood how to compare when denominators are same and numerators are different and also when numerators are same but denominators are different. But how do we compare when both numerator and denominators are different? What do we call the fraction when both are different? It's unlike fraction. So let's understand to compare unlike fractions. Let's understand to compare through LCM method. Example, I had 8 pieces of chocolates out of which I ate 5. My brother had 12 pieces of chocolates out of which he ate 7. Who ate more? To find out who ate more, we will have to compare the given fractions. I ate 5 pieces out of 8 pieces and my brother ate 7 pieces out of 12 pieces. So, 5 by 8 and 7 by 12 has to be compared. If the denominators were same means we could have just looked at the numerators and compared. As the denominators are different, we will have to take the LCM of the denominators. We have already learnt how to find the LCM of the given numbers, right? The same way we will have to find the LCM of 8 and 12. 8 and 12 are the denominators. Here we will write the numbers 8 and 12. Now tell me, is 8 and 12 are divisible by 2? Yes, we have learned tests of divisibility in our previous videos. That means we know that 8 and 12 both are divisible by 2. Yes, 2, 4 times will be 8 and 2, 6 times will be 12. Again, 4 and 6 both are divisible by 2. 2 times 2 will be 4. 2 times 3 will be 6. Again, we will divide by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 is not divisible by 2. So, we will write 3 as it is. So, 3 is divisible only by 3. So, 3, 1 will remain as it is. 3 ones are 3. So, the LCM of 8 and 12 equals 2 into 2 into 2. So, 3 times 2 and 1 time 3. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So, LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. Now, as we got the LCM as 24, in the next step, we need to make the denominators equal to the LCM. LCM is 24. The denominator should become 24. How to make the denominators equal to LCM that is 24 means here, the fractions are 5 by 8 and 7 by 12 which needs to be compared, right? So, here denominator in the first fraction is 8. So, 8 what times is 24? 8, 3 times is 24, correct? So, we will write 8, 3 times and also write 5, 3 times. 8, 3 times is 24. So, 3 times only we will multiply 5 also. 8 3 times 24 and 5 3 times 15. So, 15 by 24. As LCM was 24, we made the denominator equal to 24. Next fraction is 7 by 12. 12 what times is 24? 12. 2 times is 24. 
So, 12 2 times 24, same number will multiply with 7 also. So, 7 2 times is 14. So, 14 by 24. Here also, the denominator was 12. We made the denominator equal to 24. Now, we have 15 by 24 and 14 by 24 which is like fraction. As it is like fraction, we can compare directly, right? As the denominators are same, we will only compare the numerators. So, here 15 is greater than 14. So, 5 by 8 is greater than 7 by 12. So, I ate more chocolates than my brother. So, students, this is how we compare the unlike fractions. First, find the LCM of the given denominators, then make the denominators equal to LCM and then compare the numerators as the denominators will be same. Look at another example here. Compare 5 by 7 and 9 by 11 using LCM method. Here 5 by 7 and 9 by 11 means the denominators are also different, also the numerators. So when the denominators are different, we will have to take their LCM that is 7 and 11. 7 and 11. Students, as we have already learned the tests of divisibility, we know that 7 and 11 both are not divisible by any other number rather than itself because 7 and 11 both are prime numbers. So, it is divisible only by itself. So, 7, what times will be 7? 7, one time will be 7 as 11 is not divisible by 7, it remains the same. Next, 11 is divisible by itself. So, 11, 1 as it is, 11, 1 time is 11. So, we reach the end, right? So, the LCM of 7 and 11 is 7 into 11. What is 7 into 11? 7 into 11 is 70. 7. 7, 11 times will be 77. We got the LCM as 77. Step 2, we have to make the denominators equal to LCM that is 77. So, here in the denominator place 7 is there. 7, what times is 77? 7, 11 times will be 77. So, 5, 11 times and 7, 11 times. What is 5 11 times? Will be 55 and 7 11 times will be 77. So, always remember with which number we will be multiplying the denominator with the same number we will have to multiply the denominator also. Here 7 we are multiplying with 11 to make it 77. In the same way, 5 should be multiplied by 11 itself. So, we will get the answer 55. So, 55 by 77. We got here. Next, 9 by 11. Na 11 what times is 77? 11, 7 times is 77. So, 11, 7 times. Same will multiply with 9 also. 9, 7 times. So, what is 9 7 times? 63 and 11 7 times will be 77. Now, as the denominators are same, 77, 77, we will have to just compare the numerator that is 55 and 63. Here, 55 is lesser than 63. As the denominators are same, we will only compare the numerators. So, 55 is lesser than 63, which means 5 by 7 is lesser than 9 by 11. 
so students hope you have understood how to compare unlike fractions thanks for watching keep supporting